Hey, what's going on guys? Zebs here bringing you a video today on a series I'm going to be doing on the Designs Academy channel, which will be how to use Adobe Premiere. Um, so this will be kind of like a series of videos of where I'm teaching you guys how to use Adobe Premiere. Now, if you guys don't know what Adobe Premiere is, it's basically editing software such as Sony Vegas and kind of like Adobe uh, After Effects. Um, After Effects focuses more on the effects. Premiere focuses more on video editing itself, so this will use like timeline kind of things. I'll explain a little bit later once we get to that, but um, w there's different ways to get Adobe Premiere, obviously. I I bought mine, so I have the latest Pro CC 2015 version, um, which things might be different if you're using an older version, so just keep that in mind if you're going to follow the tutorial. So today we're going to just be going over basic things of Premiere how everything works, where everything is, and etc. So to start off with, this is not going to be what your guys' screen looks like. So we're going to go into File. Here, I'll just go File, New, Project. This is what yours is going to look like or similar to this. Um, this is basically your new project setup where you can edit where it saves, different rendering engines, all that kind of stuff. So to start off with, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. We're going to name it Tutorial. Uh, all right, oops, hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we can name it tutorial here. And then we'll save it to my desktop. Um, in general, this is your render. Now, what CUDA is, is if you have CUDA cores. Now, I know this is more of your graphics card, so if you have a... Oh, if you look it up, it'll show all the lists of graphics cards that have CUDA. But what basically it is, is it basically uses your processor and your graphics card together to render it so it makes it faster and everything runs smoother um not every graphics card has it so looking to see if yours has it mine luckily does i have a gtx 970 um so i'm going to be using the cuda engine um pretty much the same thing except this one the one most of you guys will probably be using it'll just take a little bit longer to render things out a uh, display format i usually just leave it on time code audio samples and then yeah just like this so the only thing I usually edit is the name, location, and then the render, which I usually just keep on CUDA. Um, click OK, and then wait a minute, and it will load your scene. Yours is going to look different, so I'm just going to go back to uh, the default, which mine, I think, looks different, which yours is default to editing. So one thing I'm going to show you what to do is the first thing, what we're going to want to do for the series I'm going to be teaching you is go to Window, Workspace, and then make go to audio and then this will be the workspace we can be working on uh, so we can just follow along things like that so the first thing or well, the second thing we should do is go into edit preference preferences and then go to memory this is where we can edit the amount of ram usage i have 16 gigs of ram installed right now i'm using 12 of it so it depends on your ram um this is we're doing this to like for playback stuff, editing, rendering speeds, all that stuff. Um, I think it's default to like four gigs, I think, or something like that. Um, but change it however much you want. So if you have eight gigs, I recommend setting it to like six gigs, um, four gigs, maybe use three gigs, something like that, you know. Um, don't use all of the RAM because that means all your whole PC is going to be focusing on that. So that can cause um, computer problems, things like that. So just keep in mind of that. Uh, I'm using 12, so boom. Uh, you can also go into your settings here and change um, different things. So you got your lighter, your darker default, you know, things like that. Um, all that. So you just go through these if you want. None of these I really have messed with a whole lot. I don't really need to besides um, memory. All right, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere, we got our settings set, we have our layout and everything. Let me explain what everything is and how it works. So now that we created a new project, we haven't created a sequence. So I'm going to show you um, a couple ways you can make a sequence. Now, a cool thing about Premiere is if there's always a second way or third way of doing something. So let's say you don't like one way, you could do it another way. There's always a different way of doing something, which is a really cool thing that a Premiere has. So the one thing we can do is we can go into File, New, Sequence. Um, this will create a sequence by opening a new sequence box. 
Um, this is where you can edit all your formats and all of that stuff. So we're just going to use the default DV PAL uh, widescreen 48 kilohertz. So just select OK. You can name it if you want. I mean, we'll just name it mm, Tutorial. And then we can click OK. And as you can see now, it's created a timeline in our little timeline box. And it's also created a audio thing. Since we're using the audio um, preset, it's going to focus more on audio things, which I prefer this layout a lot more. But a cool, another really cool thing about Premiere is, well, pretty much all Adobe pro products do this, is let's say you don't like something, you can move them around by going, by uh, clicking the thingy that you want to move. And then you can move it around by holding left click and you can move it to where you want. So let's say if I want it up in here, I can move it into these um, little boxes and stuff. So I'm going to move it actually back into here. You can also move it to the sides, things like that. Whoops. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So now that we got that, now we're going to want to import a clip. So to do this, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into our project. This is where all of our footage and audio, all that stuff will be held. Um, this is our uh, sequence right here. So let's say if you accidentally delete this or the timeline goes away, just drag the sequence on here and it'll create the timeline again. Um, so one way we can add something is we can go File, um, Import, and then select the footage. Or you could just double click on here and then select the footage that you want. So I'm going to go into... Let's just get some random gameplay here. Um, we can do... I'll just do this. I don't, I don't know what gameplay this is. All right. 21 minutes long. Okay. So to drag it on the timeline, you just double click. Boom. There it is. Um, this is... It's, it's gonna, most of the time it is going to pop this up because um, the sequences are different. So for example, let's say um, the sequence we set changed well has the FPS at 30 FPS and this footage is 60 it'll change it to 60 because that's what the footage is so it'll make it easier for you to edit and render it out so it doesn't cause confusion when rendering um, also another thing down here this is your this is your categories for video and audio video audio so v1 is video one a1 is audio one um, so this bottom one is your audio this is your video um, they're linked together so whatever you do, they will always be together. And a way to unlink it is just right click, go unlink, and then boom, now it's it's unlinked. So it play the audio before the video. Um, so this is just kind of like your, your basic stuff. So if you've ever used editing software before and you want to get into Premiere, a lot of this stuff is the same when it comes to just your overall basic things. Um, over here, we have our video playback, basically where it plays back the video. Um, and let's say you don't have a stronger computer um, and it's laggy, like it's really choppy. One way to fix this is change this full into like one half or one fourth, and this will change the quality of the video. Um, so it can play back better for you. Um, my computer's strong enough because of the RAM and vid my video card, I can play it back fully at the full quality just fine. Um, another thing is right here. Another really cool thing about Adobe uh, Premiere is if you double click the video, it's going to make a second one here. So this will, you can play it from here, and then you can also play it from here. So you can edit kind of two different areas and get things better in sync here. Um, so it's kind of like two different uh, playback sources, which is really cool. Um, it's really useful. I've only used it once though, but it, it seems very useful. <laughs> so boom. Um, we can close it if we don't want it, you know, everything's edible, you can edit everything to your liking in here, which is really cool, I really like that. Um, another thing about Premiere is, um, all of your editing tools, or most of them anyway, are over here, so you can do different editing things, so for example, let's say, if I double click this, this will bring up our, uh, audio, if we double click down in here, this will make our little timeline have the audio so then we can cut something so let's say we want to cut out a certain part of the video what we do is either click this cut button here or as the shortcut is C as it says there you can go over everything and I'll tell you the shortcuts so you can learn the shortcuts it just makes your workflow a little bit faster so if we click C this will pop up our little razor thing so we can cut things um, if we just go over where we want and uh, boom and then let's say, go a couple seconds forward, you see or click that, boom. 
then we could just delete this and then just drag it together and then that part's deleted here whoops boom boom now that part's deleted um so if you're pl if you plan on using adobe uh, premiere for like editing counter-strike videos or like you're cutting it a lot really useful tool um you got your cursor here selection tool v um what this is is basically your main tool you can highlight things drag them do whatever you want with them things like that you know your basic selection um you know just basic things um i'm not going to go over all today that'll be a different video because there's a lot of in-depth stuff for this stuff um but today it was just kind of like the basics of like everything like layout wise and everything so basic overview um, make a sequence or a new project new sequence add your footage add it to your timeline and then you can then edit it uh, I showed you guys how to move things around all that the next video will be more in-depth of the editing itself I'll show you guys how, maybe how to edit a counter-strike video uh, like a walkthrough little thingy of that so how I would edit it personally and then I can go into our render settings which right here um, I can show you guys really good YouTube rendering settings, um, all this stuff, what everything means of that sort. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I've been your host, Zebs, today. And if you guys want more of these, just uh, leave a comment down below um, explaining what you liked about this, what you didn't like about this, so I can make the videos better. So if you guys enjoyed this, I'm out. Peace.